Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. The very first thing I want to say, thank you. Thank you so much, so very much. We have hit 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> it's crazy, I didn't expect it at all. And we're going to random Eve, so we're going to play Eve. Um, a lot of people have asked if I'm doing a 10,000 subscriber special, and uh, I've responded no to that because I'm not. But what I might do instead, you could call it a special I guess, is I might do... Episode 2 of the um, attempts of at breaking the game, and I'll do that live on stream because then I can get tips from people, then I can interact with people better. Hopefully that means less comments because there were so many it was impossible to keep up. Um, yeah, that, that's about all there is to that. Today I am going to be putting up Paranautical Activity for the uh, second video, which uh, you know we haven't seen in a little while, so that's exciting. And uh, I haven't recorded that yet, but we will see in a moment. Wow, that did a ton of damage. Uh, so, yeah, you'll see normal time, paranautical activity. No Super Meat Boy today. Um, and maybe no Super Meat Boy tomorrow. I might be putting up a first look. But uh, no promises on that yet. We will see how it fits into my schedule. Which, you know, if I'm being honest, I don't really have much of a schedule. But we'll see how it works out. Um, I think that I'm excited for this. So, uh, yeah see about that. But today, Paranautical Activity. Health up. I'm happy with health up. Happy with the soul heart. Uh, Eve, Eve is going to be a tough win. I don't know that I can pull this one out. It's, uh, it's always an adventure playing as Eve. Of course, I'll do my best, and I actually enjoy playing Eve, unlike most people. So, uh, that's all well and good. I'm going to use my key here, and, uh, I mean, I kind of regret it, but at the same time, I'm going to stick with Book of Shadows over the uh, Anarchist Cookbook or Monstro's Tooth. Ten seconds of invincibility is pretty good. Not likely that I'll end up keeping it, but if I do, hey, you know, I'm not going to complain because maybe it's going to be super clutch. So, we can't go to that boss challenge room, but if we get an arcade, which we can on this floor, because it's even... Actually, no, we can't, because we didn't have five cents. You need to have at least five cents when you enter an even floor in order to uh, have a chance at an arcade. So, we're not getting an arcade this floor, but if there's a random blood donation machine on the floor, we'll probably go down to Whore of Babylon State, which is one thing that a lot of people like to prioritize with Eve, since she does have a 0.75 times damage multiplier, which is pretty bad, um, and it, it helps even her out. Nope, that was close. Catch that bomb. Uh, yeah, that's that's one thing that people like to do, and I might do that. But, for now, what I need is a key. That was really bad damage. I used my invincibility to get closer there. Dead bird can do its thing. I really do hate Claudies, though. Claudies are jerks. Darn it. Yeah, I could have used invincibility there. Wouldn't have hurt. Uh, I'm not... I was thinking about it for a second, but I decided I don't want to use the curse room to get down to one heart in order to go to the boss challenge room. Even though I do have the invincibility, I don't want to do that until there's hearts, uh, until there are hearts laying around, so that I can get back to full health afterwards. Or if it's not something that I want to take, like it's a shot speed up or something garbage like that. So that's the plan for now. Uh, give me health, and maybe I'll go to the boss challenge room. I'd also very much like a key because uh, item rooms are important in my eyes and in everyone's eyes ever. By the way, there's a new cheat table update. Uh, we have fixed the game breaking bug that could occur with uh, the always, or devil rooms are always devil rooms cheat. Well, okay, who am I kidding? We didn't fix anything. No Face J fixed it. Uh, and also added a always single item rooms cheat to go along with the always double item rooms cheat in case you don't want two item rooms on your um, womb, etc. later and you just want single item rooms. Anyway, I used a bomb there because I wanted to go into the item room for uh, free, but I don't want Able because it's garbage, shoots my bombs back at me, never does any damage, isn't worth having because the more passives you have, the more actives you're going to find later and the less good passives you're going to find. It's bad, it's in the code, but you know, that's just, it sucks, so it's not worth taking. That is why I do not take any item that does not benefit me, I don't like, or is actively bad. At the same time, you always want to touch spacebar items so there are less of them that can appear. Because then the game has less to choose from when it's trying to give you actives instead of passives. So it's it's not a um, it's not a strict coded 
increased chance like the uh, passives causing actives is, but it's, uh, it, I mean, there aren't nearly as many actives as passives, so it makes a pretty reasonable difference, generally. So, uh, keep that in mind. Pin fight, almost done. We're not actually doing all that badly. I'd be happy to go, like, real hard on a deal with the devil right now. There we go. But I don't get that opportunity. Wire code hanger. Yeah, you know. Tears up is good. It's a pretty good tears up. It's pretty strong. But that's all I got for right now. So I guess we're out of here. So far, not too successful with Eve. I am going to take Poison Touch. Poison Touch is real good. That is every time an enemy comes into physical contact with us. It takes a bunch of damage and gets poisoned for damage over time, assuming it doesn't die, which uh, most enemies kind of die when they touch us. Note, some enemies are not going to take that contact damage simply because... Um, yeah, that was, that was smart. <laughs> Simply because they don't do contact damage to us, and many enemies that don't do contact damage to us don't take contact damage from us. So anyway, we use Book of uh, Shadows effectively there. That's pretty much how you want to use it, and that's another reason that uh, the virus was a good pickup. At the same time, do I expect to be keeping the Book of Shadows? Not exactly. Still, good planning. Oh, darn it. I'd very much like some damage, uh, but we have a key, so we'll be able to go to the item room. I would like to pick up one cent and one more key so that we can go to the shop as well. But we'll take these things one at a time. Come on, knight. GG. Alright, another key. That's good. So we will be able to go to the shop on this floor without not having enough keys to do everything else we want to, most likely. Uh, but at the same time, we don't know that we have enough money yet. So I don't want to go without 15 cents, but at the same time, this is the last shop where we're guaranteed not to be able to fight greed. Well, for now. We'll know if we're guaranteed not to be able to fight Greed in uh, a little while. But this is the last shop for now that we know we're guaranteed not to fight Greed. So, uh, that, that would be a nice thing to do, especially if we got a very good item. Which, I mean, there are a few. We don't have the D6 or anything, so we can't like break the game in order to get everything we want. Unfortunately, but... You know, I like, I like playing the characters that aren't Samson. I like playing every single one of them, even Eve. So this is going to be a fun, interesting time. No? Alright, there's our item room. And we just got to kill a few of these dudes. Which I, I think are called maggots. I think. That's what I'll call them for now. Uh, okay, so. Last one, and then we're going to go to the item room, which hopefully is going to contain something really good. We now have definitely enough keys. The magnet. Well, you know what? That's not good at all and I normally wouldn't want to take it but at the moment there's an immediate payout for it in giving me this coin and allowing me to go to the shop so that I can uh, hit that up for some possibly good items or not so that is that is what we're doing and then we'll probably use the book of shadows against the boss in order to use a bunch of our poison touch ability against it and coin purse. Uh, you know what? Screw it, because first off, it's seven cents, and second off, uh, screw it. We're Eve. Health up. Balls of steel. So that's six soul hearts, because three balls of steel pills. Um, even this, even if this is bad trip or health down or something, telepills took us closer to where we wanted to go. Well, actually, no, it didn't. It didn't take us any closer to this path. Um, but still, that is... You know, that is not at all too bad. Alright, I'm going to use this here. Because Globins are really not a good enemy for Eve base damage to fight. Because they just have so much health. And do so much damage, whereas we're doing very little. So as it turned out, there wasn't as much left to the floor as I was expecting there to be. And we thus don't have a Book of Shadows charge for our boss fight. But you know what, I feel like I'm more comfortable fighting bosses than I am fighting Globins. I don't want that because uh, that's not actually health we have. That is the effect of the Liberty Cap giving us the chance to have a random mushroom effect or the uh, magnet, I believe. Wait, no. Liberty Cap is the compass randomly, and uh, $3 bill is the magnet. I always forget because I don't really like either of them, but, you know, here we are. We have one bomb, so we're not going to be able to use that our bombs too effectively against Pestilence here. Darn, I thought we'd get out of there, but at least now we have the dead bird. Dead bird does two damage every hit, I believe. 
and uh, you know it's just gonna chase down pestilence for us keep some consistent damage going we'll pick up our first cube of meat for this fight which will rotate around us blocking enemy tiers and damaging any enemy it comes into contact with it'll also stack with later cubes of meat to change its effect so uh, yeah get you done deal with the devil that's exactly what I wanted to see especially with our soul heart situation in the deal with the devil, we see the nail and lucky foot. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go all in for once. I don't usually do this, but uh, now we have Whore of Babylon active all the time until we get health up or something. The nail allows us to uh, destroy rocks on contact. It increases our damage by 1.7. It increases or decreases our speed by 0.18. And... Uh, we also do a little bit of contact damage. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I took damage immediately, so we only we didn't get as much benefit. It's a soul heart every six rooms, though, and provided we're not playing terribly, that's going to profit us. I'm going to take Brother Bobby because it's not, not a bad dude. Going to increase our DPS by shooting tears along with us. They are low damage, but they are something. So I'm not going to complain about it. Because, you know... We take what we can get as Eve, and uh, this is what we can get right now. Hey, calm down. Uncalm down, please. There we go. Hey, hey okay. I'm like the only person that actually likes playing Eve. But, yeah, I'm going to go for meat, because it's a damage up. It's not as much of a damage up as Whore of Babylon, but, you know, I, I'm going to take what I can get for now, because... Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to get rid of it at some point, but at the same time it's going to help us. For now. So there we go, Larry Jr., etc., etc. They have three sections, even though it looks like they have two. We saw the three at the start, and uh, they very clearly have three where we're hitting one of them and not really making it red because the red's underneath. It's just how things work. Anyway, uh, I don't like the nail or the Book of Revelations very much, so I think it's totally reasonable in order like, to take health rather than try to rely on only soul hearts here. So this is a Balls of Steel pill. Two more soul hearts. Because, you know, I just don't think that the uh, nail and Book of Revelations are nearly as sustainable as everyone makes them out to be, or nearly as good as everyone likes to think they are. But that is really just me. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, they're so amazing. Best items in the game. And, you know, to each his own. I do better with a lot of other things. Like, a lot of other things. Still, every six rooms for now, we will be getting a soul heart and all that other stuff that I said. Contact damage, damage up, speed, whatever. And uh, rock destroying. We did get our compass effect there. Not that I really care. I'm exploring this floor entirely. Because since we're on easy floors still, like, I consider floors easy until the womb slash utero, even though those floors are also easy. Uh, I just have it, like, hard-coded into my brain that I want to uh, skip as much as possible on those floors. Which, uh, honestly, might not be the best strategy. A lot of the time, they're easier than the Depths of Necropolis, for example. But, whatever. Curse Room, we don't really want to go to the shop yet, unless we get a bunch of money, but I'm not going to use a bomb because I only have one. Curse Room, I'm probably going to visit, honestly. What was I saying? What was I saying? I don't know. I really have no clue. There we go. Globins aren't going too badly now. Oh, look, another bomb. All right, so we know now where the secret room is. We're not going to take damage for it, though. We're going to use a bomb. Uh, we could have gone in and then bombed out. It really doesn't matter. I'm even, regardless. My little unicorn would give us uh, invincibility and contact damage on use. Uh, it would go pretty well with our... Um... Poison Touch, that'd be great, but I'd rather have the Nail, I guess. Same charge for an effect that doesn't make me lose positioning, basically. Because uh, one thing, I mean, it's easy to get out of that position because it is also a speed up with that um, invincibility and contact damage, but it's just, I don't like it as much. Note that we have uh, Lucky Foot now for improved gambling and uh, always good or neutral pills and um, something else. I think it actually allows us to get one more drop from a chest whenever we open a chest, which is cool and not known. I was just reading through the code this morning and uh, found some interesting stuff, I guess. No, 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 do that. 
We are real fast since we're Eve, which is, uh, you know, both a good thing and a bad thing for me. Not like I can't work with speed. I can. I'm very good with it. I'm very... I like to imagine I'm pretty good at this game. Not very good. Like, there are definitely a lot of people that are better than me at this game. Okay, so here's the thing. The Devil card adds two damage to us, uh, and that's that's a bunch of extra damage. Good, good to have, but at the same time, I can win this Gertie fight no problem whatsoever. So I'm not too concerned about it taking a while. I'd rather save this Devil card for a more dire situation, basically. But just quarter circle dodge, no problems. You know, it's all there is to this fight. Every, like, three seconds or something, Gertie will do something. And you just move. And then you move again. And you don't mistime it horribly. And suddenly, there is not even a single problem in the fight. Oh, my own fault, though. There we go. Let the dead bird do some stuff. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil. We haven't taken red heart damage on the boss. And we do, we get Squeezy for Tears Up and two Soul Hearts, that's excellent. Hopefully there's a one heart deal, like, not that, honestly. But, uh, you know, we're going to get rid of our Red Heart for it, because I'm probably not going to be getting another deal with the Devil, really, for a while now. And this will get us back into Horror of Babylon. Uh, I, I mean, mostly I took meat for the damage up, mostly. But, yeah... So, the game's frozen. I'm going to take a drink of water. Keep my throat in good shape. Now, it's funny here. I'm playing, like... Well, no, I'm playing the least powerful character in a very technical sense of the word powerful. Yet... I'm at the depths way faster than usual recently, because uh, like it's been taking me forever to get anywhere because I've just been doing so much backtracking and being more thorough than usual and all this weird stuff. But like I'm being as thorough as I can, as well as not having to do very much in this uh, in this run. And it's you know it's not going badly yet, but I expect that to change soon because I I don't think that we have anything special enough to uh, carry us through yet, and I don't know that we will, but we're going to try. Alright, so this is going to have a library, which means uh, I am going to open it up, because I have enough keys, and what I want is the Book of Revelations, mostly, so that I can uh, guarantee myself a second cube of meat on this floor. Oh, the Joker! Well, that's exciting. So then, oh, we didn't get it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Joker, and I'm going to hope... Alright, first let's see if I can... Okay, no, I can't do that. I was really, really hoping that we were going to get Krampus. Because Krampus would have been awesome. We would have killed him, and then we would have gotten the lump of coal. A lump of coal, technically. And that would, uh, that would give us a bunch of extra nice damage. And uh, I guess it's subject to our damage multiplier, but it's, uh, it's, it's good. Don't do that. You hit me. I thought you were dead. That was unfortunate. So like I said, Nail, not going to do us a ton of good because in order to profit from it, you have to take less than a full heart every, like, six rooms. Alright. Packed his damage up, tears up, and two soul hearts, so that was totally worth it. Completely profited a full soul heart. Um, I'm happy with that because more fire rate and damage means more DPS means I'm happier. And Eve is a little less tough. And note I say tough instead of bad. I think of Eve as a nice, relaxing challenge rather than a bad character. I'm not saying that Eve is like a good character, but I'm saying that Eve isn't the worst character. Oh yeah, how could I have forgotten? Eve has an extra 1 16th chance for any heart drop to instead be a soul heart drop. And that uh, that is awesome. I mean, it's very small, but it's there nonetheless. guess I should use this even though it's not really helpful on this room. Uh, you should use it as often as possible so that you get as many charges as possible. Of course, I'm likely to break this rule uh, <laughs> when I'm waiting to use it on a boss at some point. But, just uh, generally, 
Oh yeah, forgot that we hadn't even gone to the item room. Whatever, man. So, we already know that if we fight war, it's our own getting lucky, rather than uh, having guaranteed it for ourselves by using the Book of Revelations, which would have been nice, but at the same time did not happen. We do have the magnet, so that's all good. The belt for speed up is an absolute do not want, because Horde Babylon is already giving us a speed up, we're already Eve. We do not need that at all, that would be more harmful than helpful. So that's a uh, no thanks. Again, note that when we get those extra health uh, things, that was kind of worth it. And the Eternal Heart, I guess I'll probably end up taking. Anyway, just note that when we get those extra half hearts, basically, that is us getting the large odd mushroom in order to give us health up and damage up. Ah, do we do it? Yeah, I think we do it just in case of that extra deal with the devil chance that we get here and on the womb one, and if we get really lucky about what happens on the next floor, maybe there too, uh, we could trade this heart away for something good, and I would totally take a health up on this uh, boss, the next boss, and probably even the uh, boss on the womb one. The Fallen, that's really good. Fallen is going to give us a deal with the devil item, and hopefully that's really good. We've gotten a bunch of them out of the pool due to seeing them, and uh, in a couple of cases picking them up. Which means that uh, a lot of the ones left are better than the ones we have seen, because we haven't really taken the ones we've seen happily or anything. But at the same time, Lucky Foot could be game-changing. If we get a uh, fortune teller machine, that's going to be awesome, because we can't lose on it with Lucky Foot. And uh, Guppy's Paw. Oh, man. Well, we absolutely touch it, just in case we get two more guppy items later. But unfortunately, I would think that the nail is going to be more helpful to me. I don't know how many health ups I'm going to get, but... Oh, man, this is really a tough decision. Going to use the nail because I'm really debating this right now. I'm, like, seriously debating it. We're about to get a health up. I think that... Yeah, I think we're going to go with the paw. Because we're about to get a health up, lose Whore of Babylon, which I think keeping consistent Whore of Babylon is probably more valuable than uh, the nail in general. Um, now that we don't have that semi-crutch to fall back on, I might play a little more carefully, just out of necessity, and like that's something, yeah, I could say, oh yeah, I'm going to play real seriously now and uh, play carefully, not take any real damage. But I think that doing it out of necessity is absolutely better than... Uh, just doing it because you tell yourself you're going to. I think that that just doesn't work as well as people want it to. At least in my case. You know, I could be totally wrong. But I'm planning on picking up more health ups. Uh, although, at this point... Alright, it can't be bad. Bad gas. Not bad, neutral. Even though it has bad in the title. Uh, anyway, I, I don't think that... I lost my train of thought, honestly. Oh, I won't use it maybe right away on the next health up or two, just in case of that deal with a devil chance. Uh, pulling through and getting us, like, Mom's Knife or something. Uh, okay, so there's... That's what the map looks like. There is a library, so we're probably going to get a Book of Revelations use, but that won't help us at all in getting uh, cubes of meat, because this floor we're fighting Mom. That's just the way of the world. That's what has to happen here. Alright, this is good, this is good. Hey, 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 okay. There we go. Let the cube of meat do the work. Cube of meat is pretty good, honestly. Probably, it's very underrated, I would say. A lot of people aren't the happiest in the world to receive a single cube of meat. Whereas, uh, I'm happy to receive any orbital. I'm happy to receive a cube of meat because it does a bunch of damage and it can get way better later. Blood rights, not very good. Scales... Jeez, actually. Here's here's an interesting thought. Oh, let's do it. So we just went to negative one health, and uh, now the next health up won't do anything for us, which means, well, sucks to be us, sort of, but at the same time, we can take a health up if it conveys some advantage to us. Another devil card. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly just going to pop that so it doesn't mess with us. Permanent compass. GG. Happy with that. That'll show us uh, the icons on the map without showing us how to get to them, like uh, like I always say. So that's pretty good. Oh, careful. Oh, darn it, I got hit. Get in there. 
Wait, they didn't take my poison damage? What is going on in my life? I just took, like, a buttload of damage. But here's the thing, we're gonna be able to go to this boss challenge room, we're going to be able to, um... Once we pick up the Polaroid after the mom fight, whenever we get hit, we can mash the spacebar to, uh, do a ton of damage to every enemy in the room. Every time, uh, we press the spacebar, because of blood rights, which is damage yourself to damage every enemy in the room. But since we're invincible and have only soul hearts, it's gonna... Uh, not take health from us and instead just continually damage enemies. So we just picked up a pentagram for one damage up and all of a sudden I don't feel too terrible about this run. And I don't know if uh, this item is the right choice, but at the same time this item totally is the right choice. Uh, it'd be nice to stick with the guppy items and stuff, but I'm... you know, I'm gonna go to the curse room. I'm gonna go to the library. Maybe I'll go to the shop if I pick up a bunch more money. I just, I think this run's going pretty well for Eve. And I'm not saying that we'll be able to win for sure, but we might be able to win. And uh, I don't know how often I win vanilla Eve to the chest, but I will certainly give it a shot. Although maybe I'll end up going to the, um, to Shoal. Who knows? Took a bunch of damage there and I don't like it. You know, it's my own fault. Not playing carefully enough. Guess I should really work on that. To the curse room, though. Or hopefully we'll pick up uh, some amazing devil room item, guppy item, something like that. Uh, dead cat would be nice, actually, because uh, then I'd get... It would set me to one health, even though I'm at negative health right now. All right. Second guppy item, so we're two-thirds of the way to becoming guppy right now. I would take any guppy item at any cost now. Preferably the dead cat, I suppose. So that I would survive. But we would become guppy, which would give us kamikaze flies on every tier that we hit with. Which would be pretty nice. Hey, hey, calm down. Good, good. Let the magnet do its thing. Go to the shop, which is super greed. Sure, that's fine. I don't actually know why I went to the shop, but looking at it, not too bad because we almost had enough money. I just haven't kept track of the greed rotation on this run, which means that uh, I didn't know for sure whether this would be greed. I could have guessed probably very accurately, but, you know, whatever. It wasn't a big deal. Hey, okay. To the library, and then to the boss. Four keys, I don't think I'm planning on going to that chest. Believe it or not. Let's see what we got going for us. Perfect. And then, oh no. Oh, it opened it so perfectly for us. Well, at least it paid for itself. Okay. Just gotta kill these dudes. I'm happy to pick up the Polaroid as soon as possible so that we can start using um, Blood Rites effectively, which is really the only situation in which Blood Rites is any good whatsoever. Same with the Razor, in my opinion, of course. Some people might like these things. Book of Sin could give us a Soul Heart. Uh, that's a key, I'm happy with keys. And then this will give us a Soul Heart. Now we'll go head towards the Mom Fight and hope for the best, basically. Once we make it through, assuming we make it through, which I'd say we should, I will be able to abuse, like I said, the Polaroid, five seconds of invincibility on every hit. This is probably worth it. I have nothing else to use my money on, and we're going to win every time. High Priestess summons Mom's foot to stomp on an enemy. I think that I'd rather have the damage up, I guess, maybe? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Screw it. We already have another Devil card. All right, so... This isn't likely to be the secret room location. I'm going to go and check the one that's really close to us because it can be used as an explosion to take us into the secret room. So Q, and then we move away. Didn't move away in time because it tries to stomp on you if there's no enemy around, and it will also do that if you're in the mom fight, which is another reason not to take it into that fight. Unfortunately, we lost a soul heart there, but then again, uh, we already did get a soul heart from this. The sun, map full heal if we had any red hearts um like full map and compass but we already have the compass so uh, i'm just gonna get this out of the way because it's annoying and we're gonna stick with the sun significant damage to every enemy in the room now a funny thing that i discovered while i was reading the code earlier today 
the world will show us the secret room. I already kind of knew it was there. Temperance spawns a blood bank, which I will blow up. Uh, what I was saying. Funny thing I discovered earlier while I was reading the code. The sun card sets you to 1000 HP, which doesn't actually matter. That just means that if you had 1000 HP, well, now it would all be full. But in the... Uh, <laughs> rather than setting you to full health, basically. And, uh, full health instead sets you to max HP, which makes a lot more sense, I would say. And yeah, I did that just for convenience sake. I don't really care that much about the keys. I would rather take every advantage I can get to make it through. Uh, and I wish I had Mom's purse, but I don't. That would allow me to hold two trinkets, and then I would be able to thus keep our good friend the... Curved Horn, which would be amazing for us. Two damage up. Uh, every damage up helps. Now note, I don't mind taking damage horribly right now, because that means that I already have the Polaroid, thanks to that Fortune Teller machine that, again, we win every time on, thanks to the lucky foot that we took. Um, every time we get hit, I am able to mash the space bar, do a ton of damage, um, and that's, like, quintuply effective against Mom here, simply because of the fact that each of the doors and the foot take damage from each of my uses of such items and things. So it's pretty good. Alright. GG. Already have the Polaroid, so no use for that. Don't want the shot speed up. Yes, it says tears up, but it's shot speed up. People have been saying that to me a lot recently. They're like, hey, why don't you take tears up? It's not a tears up, I promise. So there you go. I'm going to take another drink, if you'll excuse me. Okay, so uh, it looks like we'd go this way, and that probably means it's wrong, but we're going to go this way anyway, first, and hope for the best. Because that's what I like to do. I like to hope for the best sometimes. Because if this is right, that's a lot more convenient. If it's not, well, these things happen, and they happen regularly on these later floors. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can. Okay, okay. I was going to use a bomb for that, and then I realized we have the magnet. Which has done a lot more good for us than normally expected, but that's because we just haven't picked up flight yet anywhere. And, oh man, that was close. I would have been real mad to take damage there instead of uh, earlier in the room when I could have used our um, spacebar item effectively. Because our spacebar item is the only reason I'm okay taking any damage whatsoever. I want to take no damage at all if possible. Extra soul heart is always super welcome. We're going to go to the library because uh, this might be the last stuff we need to do in order to get double item room libraries. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it might be, and that would allow us to, um, you know, if we find another library on the next two floors. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, bum friend is going to be good for us, even though we'll push our bombs around. Uh, we don't really need money, so that'll allow us to allow us to. That's like my catchphrase right now. Uh, he'll give us, he'll take our coins from rooms, and give us pickups, and that's probably more valuable than our money. So, uh, you know, we take him and he'll do something good for us, ideally. Okay, good, and then I kill you with this cube of meat. Good job, bum friend, I'm proud of you. Conquest is a really sucky boss, so now we just keep using the space bar. Alright, that's all we're gonna get for now. If we take damage again, well, we do it again. We already did half of his health right there. So I honestly don't mind that much that we took damage against him, because Conquest is one of the hardest bosses in the game, I would say. Without a doubt, just because he's one phase, and it's a really annoying phase. So there's pretty much no reason I'm happy about him. But here we are. Touch that even though there's really... Well, actually, no. What we do is we take the White Pony into the Devil Room, just in case there was a Soul Heart deal here. Uh, now, we just discovered a thing with Brimstone that would be really great, but I don't have the health to trade for this. It's not at all worth it. But we did just learn that if you mash the fire button when you have brimstone, um, it shoots more, and uh, after testing and stuff, it's been determined, we've learned, that it can do... Okay, for normally brimstone does two hits, but uh, when you do the mashing thing, it can do three hits, or if you do it perfectly, it can do four hits. So that is one and a half to, th to two times as much damage. So once people perfect it, 
It basically means that instead of three times damage, Brimsto Brimstone is doing twice as much as it normally was, which means six times your damage per hit. So, well, per shot, because each shot will do four hits. And that's pretty cool. So, like, basically we doubled the multiplier that Brimstone has by discovering that. And uh, it's funny, I told that to Cobalt Streak and in his stream, and later in the day, he decided to test it, because why wouldn't he? Who wouldn't? And uh, his stream named it the Brimsnap after me, and I feel a little bad because I shamelessly stole it from a commenter, but at the same time, uh, we now have it. It has a name, that's what it is, it's named after me, and it feels kind of cool to have something named after me. So, you know, this is not all bad. I'm sorry to the commenter, but, you know, can't win them all. I did say that it was not my discovery that someone told me, but they didn't care. So now we're gonna fight the heart, it lives, and uh, as usual for this run, if we get hit, we'll mash the space bar. Oh. Keep on mashing, all right, that's enough. Oh, no, I did it again, by accident, you fool. All right, so I don't wanna do that by accident again, we just have to stop a little bit earlier than we originally were, uh, because I can't afford the damage that it does. It does like two full hearts, and uh, that would that would be real bad. Oh no! Oh, that was real close. Uh, dead bird, you need to like get in here. Thank you. Heart is now repeatedly firing bombs. Excellent. Means that we can just focus fire on it, not worry about the enemies. And that's really good with uh, Duke of Flies because it's really easy and not in the way. Oh, took damage anyway there. So, on to the Cathedral and we'll hope for the best. Probably Curse of Darkness. Yeah, Curse of Darkness. Which means that we can't see the map and thus the Sun card wouldn't get us to the boss any faster because we can't see the map. Um, we don't have our compass that we already have because we can't see the map. Basically, this this is just a big, like, screw you from the game. But I saw it coming, it was expected, and uh, pretty normal. Totally happens to me all the time. The fortunate thing is, if we do make it to the chest, which I don't know if uh, that's entirely likely yet, there's a chance, there's a real chance, but uh, we can't get a curse on the chest. It's just it's straight up impossible. Okay, your health bar, it looks pretty gone, thanks. Oh, greed? No, this is not worth it. I'm leaving. Oh, get out of here. Oh, we can kill them now. Whatever. Wasted a bomb. Do I care that much? Nah. We can see our health, which really, really sucks. Alright. Monster- What? What? You were supposed to shoot your laser. This is not correct. Okay. Oh, no. That sucks. Okay, let's get our poison touch on- Oh, he did it again. Whatever. Sometimes you cannot win in this game. Alright, now we got the lock, and it doesn't really matter because he's about to die. Still, that really sucked because we did take a bunch of damage. Mom's Pearl would be great if we, uh, you know, kind of really had the uh, trinket ability to take that. What that does is it's an extra 10% chance that any hard drop is instead a soul hard drop, so that would stack with our innate extra chances Eve and just more soul hearts in general is good. But we do not have, uh, we don't have that thing, that purse that allows us to hold twice as many trinkets. So that, I mean, really, I, what can you do? Purse is a great trinket and I wish, or a great item, and I wish we had it. I pretty much always wish we had it. Here's our boss. We have a chance. The sun won't give us full health, but doing 100 damage could help, could save us. If we get to the chest, I will feel pretty accomplished, because we're Eve, and Eve is a tough character to play. So hopefully, we can make this work. I kind of want to use... Oh no! Oh, that was really close. kind of want to use uh, Blood Rites, just in order to kill all of those things when they're near Loki, but I'm not going to, because I can kill them fine myself. My damage output actually isn't that bad. We don't have a good setup for Isaac necessarily because we are going to be hitting frequently. All right, we're going to... Yep. Oh yeah, Blood Rites destroys the tears. All right. So that's the general strategy. We get hit, we get up in his grill. All right, there we go. Get out of his grill. 
It destroys the tears, and it also can kill masks for masks and hearts, which is cool. Uh, all right, and do this whole thing again, this song and dance. All right, get out of there. I mean, it's a good strategy, but it's not sustainable. Oh, took more damage. Darn it. Get out and get a soul heart. We are going to die. Unless we get really lucky. Like, really, really lucky. Alright, so that's a thing. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I'm doing it. We're not going to win regardless, basically, so I think... Well, fancy that. That really does not happen very often. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That is actually hilarious. We had two keys, open two chests, and the two items we get are technology and polyphemus. So we now actually have a chance of winning because we now do incredible amounts of damage and uh, shoot fewer tears. Just generally, uh, we're, we're good. Oh, right, I was like, why isn't the health bar changing? Why isn't the health bar? Oh, yeah, famine doesn't affect the health bar. Phew! Oh, no! Okay. We still have our Polaroid invincibility. That was so incredible. I don't think that that's ever going to happen again. That is, like, that is amazing. Straight up amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> you got, you, you saw that I was silent. Well, you heard that I was silent for just a few seconds there. Because I was just in pure disbelief. As were all of you, I'm sure. Because, like, what? That does not happen. No! Dodge! We want to take no damage if at all possible. But we'll still be following the same general strategy, where if we do get hit, uh, we run in. We don't have our blood rights anymore, but I'm not even mad. Uh, we run in to do poison touch and uh, then run out, basically. <laughs> All right, calm down. Oh, no, don't put that there. All right, war, you need to die. Thank you. But actually, can you guys believe that that happened? Because I can't. All right, so we're going to make it to Blue Baby. This is hopefully a room where we can... Jeez. <laughs> it's funny how much harder this room is than it looks. Than what it looks, how it looks. Regardless, we're firing fewer tiers for much more damage. Um, if we can win, we're going to with this setup. If it's possible, it'll happen. We're dodging pretty well because of the fewer tiers that he's firing. Get that poison touch in there. And uh, that is a victory. With Eve on a random run, faster than my average run right now. How does that make you all feel? I'm... <laughs> God, that was so... That was amazing. That's straight up amazing what just happened there. I was like, well, I'm going to abandon my entire strategy here uh, on the chance of two chests. And those two chests are the only reason I won. I would have lost if I didn't do what I did and if I didn't get exactly what I did. Or maybe, you know, like Mom's knife would have also worked. But still, that was, that was something special. So please leave your custom challenge room suggestions in the comments and I will do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. That was totally surprising. I actually like playing Eve, like I said. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bringing me so far all the way to 10,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh. It's so weird looking at it and seeing that extra digit on it and I'm like, wow. Wow. It is really amazing. Thank you all so much. So like I was saying, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.